Hey everyone, this is James from All Outdoors, and today I want to talk about contact gunshot wounds. There is a lot of talk about this subject, especially when it comes to the use of a distance tool, a firearm, at very close proximity to a target, like a contact weapon such as a knife. This topic does come up in such fields as forensics and in making firearms and ammunition choices, especially in the revolver versus semi-automatic pistol debate. In a hand-to-hand -hand scuffle, the slide of an autoloader can be knocked out of battery and the gun may not go off. Revolvers aren't as susceptible to this. Now there is some debate about whether contact gunshot wounds cause more damage to the intended target versus distance shots. For me, I wanted a good visual of that and I was personally very curious. So I have some 10% calibrated ballistics gel blocks, some guns, and some time. So let's find out. But I want to give a fair warning. This video did cause me some injury, and I warn you, do not try this at home, it is very dangerous. Uh, let's get started. Okay, let's start a little bit small. We have our clip ballistics uh, gel block, and to account for as many extraneous variables as possible, we're not going to put any denim or any clothing on it, and uh, there's not going to be any kind of bone simulation, I'll leave it to gun stand to do that. And we're going to start out small with a North American Arms 22 Magnum with a 1 and 5 8 inch barrel, a very up close and personal type of gun. We're going to shoot twice from far away, twice point blank. We'll see what we can do. And account for hollow point expansion, we're just going to not even use hollow points. We're using CCI Maxi Mag 40 grain full metal jacket. Let's see what happens. Looks like pretty straight little holes. Let's see what we can do. Point blank. All right, a lot more shrapnel, but it looks like a lot more uh, damage up close. All right, our next four shots are going to be with a Smith & Wesson 442 J-frame. I'm going to be shooting it with some uh, Federal 130 grain full metal jackets. And I'm going to go ahead and glove my hand very uh, primitively here because that was quite a bit of blowback I was receiving out of that mini revolver. So just to protect my hands, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And also, please don't try this at home. I'm doing this so you don't have to. Let's go ahead and take a quick shot. Quick two shots. We're a few feet away just to make a difference. Straight through and through. Hopefully I don't hurt my hand when we're in close contact like this. One more time. All right, with a little mini revolver, point blank. That was quite a lot of blowback with that 22 Magnum. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it unless you had to. Uh, now, we have, there's a lot of powder burnage going into that wound. Uh, that's about the three inch mark there. But as you see, it becomes underwhelming pretty quick and they go out. On the other hand, from a distance, it is straight through and through. There's a little bit of upset at, in one of these shots, but overall, uh, the damage, especially towards the entrance, is a lot greater with those uh, contact shots. Will that make a difference? Well, with other extraneous variables like hollow points, denim, clothing, bone, probably so. You do not want to mess with a 22 Magnum. I have plenty of gelatin tests that prove that that's a very underestimated little round. Now, the 38 Special, we have some very unremarkable wound tracks straight through and throughs basically no upset at all. With the contact shots, a good bit more damage from 
just general garden variety full metal jacket rounds. So take this for what you will. I'm going to call it a day, heal my hands. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you next time.